Member for Orbu, Chief. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, just to lend my support in a few minutes uh, to the member for Coover South uh, for filing this very critical motion at this time and to respond to a couple matters raised by the Minister of Energy, who has really run up a record as being the most politicized Minister of Energy this country has ever seen. Generally, it is a technical position. Generally, ministers of, of energy don't get involved in crass politics, as, the, as this current minister has this tendency to do. But I want to just ask the minister, we are hearing so much about foreign help, BP and Shell and divers and the, the expended monies already, and I'll come to that just now, to have foreign help here. But when the divers were in a pipeline in Point Pierre, nobody had international help, nobody had finance. Uh, please. Madam, uh, Madam, uh, Madam Speaker, the, this matter is a critical matter. All the country has learned today, all the country has learned today is that the Minister of Energy was in Venezuela yesterday. That's the only thing we have learned. Today, this reminds me of a famous line in one of the old Pink Panther movies. Two detectives are talking and one said, we want to bring you up to speed. We know nothing. You are now up to speed. They have told the country that we want to update you, the country. We know nothing. We don't know where the uh, vessel came from. We don't know where it was going. We don't know what is the nationality of the crew. We, they have 350 Gulf Stream. We don't know which one it is. They, they have, um, they don't, 10 days later, they, they don't even know what is the substance that they can confirm. Yet in a Ministry of National Security release, Madam Speaker, they confirm it is an oil spill. So national security said it is an oil spill. Ministry of Energy says, no, we cannot confirm it's oil. We don't know what substance that is. So that they cannot confirm 10 days later what exactly is the substance. There are, there are economic, economic damage yet. This thing has now started. The economic damage is incalculable at this stage. And it will remain so for some time to come because you are dealing with fisheries, you are dealing with vegetation, you are dealing with environmental damage, you are dealing with livelihoods, you are dealing with employment. But apart from that, which we will calculate by next year or the year after, you are dealing with, a, with an international crime. That, that, and when the chief secretary says something, I just want to come back to the statements made from the government. When the Chief Secretary says there is a cover-up, there, there is one piece of evidence that is there. The government of Trinidad and Tobago knew on February 4th that this vessel went missing. They have confirmed that in a statement from National Security. I can't display it. But the government confirms on February 4th a, a vessel went missing, lose track of it, and did not inform the THA did not inform the THA that this vessel may be in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago waters. They don't nothing. The THN, now they say the THA in charge, read the law. They don't even know what is the schematics of the vessel. They don't even know at this time. We hear divers are, are here, but we don't know where these divers come from, where they are, so that they cannot cap it. Now, during this entire debate, all of this talk we hear from the government and so on, how much hundreds of barrel of oil already leaking in the sea? While you're talking, today was a day, Madam Speaker, all we got to, to understand today is the vessel is continuing to leak oil and the government is continuing to leak lies. That is all we have discovered today. And they can continue to leak. Continue to leak. At, uh, please, you withdraw that word. The yeah. government continue to leak inaccuracies and misinformation. And, fr and they, are, they are continuing. You, you have one minute left. Huh? Continuing this plot of not informing. And I'll ask the government today whether there's any veracity to a suggestion also on social media that that vessel is the Trafigura vessel that has links to Venezuela, that has been, that has been missing and run aground on a reef off of Tobago. They must, now, they must now confirm that. And they are boasting they went on the scene, Minister Sinanan, Minister Young on the scene. Mr. Sinanan cannot fix a cracking mosquito creek there for two years. You'll you fix oil leak. That is just papi showing. And today the minister tell us, we, we don't go. We, we, this is a technical job, require technical people. But when they tow in the whole world, they tow in the whole world on energy, they have no technical people. There's two politicians that go, a golfer and a caddy. They don't carry nobody else. No technical people go. So this today is a bunch of hypocrisy. Nothing is happening. 
Nothing is happening quick enough, I should say that. Nothing is happening quick enough because there is no leadership with the government, no leadership on this issue.